Planet Earth is packed full of some of the most wondrous, beautiful, and mysterious places you could imagine. Sometimes, these wondrous places show displays of amazing human ingenuity. Others have been carved out by Mother Nature, leaving the landscape to look somewhat alien. Either way, though, all of these things stand as proof, evidence of how truly unique our planet is in the universe. From time to time, though, these features can go from amazing to downright weird. Most of the time, this is brought on by humans changing things. Spread across our oceans and seas are some islands that definitely meet this criteria. Here are five of the strangest islands on our planet that actually exist. To locals, the West African village at the farthest end of Petit Côte, Senegal, is known as Joal Fadiouth. The world, however, knows it best as Shell Island. The reason for this interesting nickname is due to the fact that the island is made up almost entirely of clamshells. You heard us correctly. It is an island which has inhabitants, buildings, streets, and even a cemetery, all made from clamshells. The formation of this island goes back over 300 years. Back then, clams were a major source of income for the locals as well as an abundant food source. As the clams were harvested, their shells were simply thrown out. This continued for many years, with shell after shell being tossed in the same area. Eventually, though, enough shells were discarded that the island formed and grew. Even today, the tradition continues, although not nearly to the extent that it once did. The island is now held together by the roots of mangrove and baobab trees, keeping it intact during floods and storms. Today, the island is known for another amazing thing the residents. It is a predominantly Christian and Muslim population who live in perfect harmony together. The two religions work together to celebrate weddings, births, deaths, and even erect churches and mosques together. Graves of all religions can be found on Shell Island, which has attracted interest for both its sustainability as well as its tolerance. One of the most mysterious islands in the world actually used to be one of the most densely populated. Just off the coast of the Japanese city of Nagasaki lies Hashima Island. In the late 1800s, coal was found on the sea floor beneath the island. In the early days of the operation, Japan's Mitsubishi Company, which was mining the coal, would ferry miners to and from the worksite from the Nagasaki mainland. However, the company later decided that it would be much easier to build houses for the workers and their families on the island itself. So, giant, multi-story concrete apartment buildings were constructed. Along with places for the workers to live, there were schools, bathhouses, temples, restaurants, markets, and even a graveyard. All of this was built on an island that was around the size of a football field. By the 1950s, the population hit around 5,000 people, officially making Hashima Island the most densely populated place on planet Earth. In 1974, all the coal ran dry. There was no more work left on the island. So, the Mitsubishi company told the people that they would have some work for them on the mainland. The only catch was that it was a first-come, first-served deal. When the announcement was made, people dropped everything they were doing and quickly abandoned the island. Now, the worn-down shells of buildings remain, still holding the belongings of those who hastily left. Furniture, pictures, bicycles, it's as if everyone simply disappeared. The Maldives island chain in the Indian Ocean is about as close as it gets to tropical bliss on Earth. Smooth white sand, turquoise water, beautiful foliage, one couldn't ask for more. However, set apart from this paradise is the island of Thilafushi, which was an island where the trash from the tourists would end up. In the beginning, Thilafushi was a lagoon composed of shallow coral reefs. But in 1992, the government decided to use the barrier island as the final destination for the enormous waste produced by their flourishing tourism industry. Huge freighters, garbage excavators, and migrant workers would dump large amounts of trash on the island. And we aren't talking about small amounts, either. Each day saw an additional 330 tons of garbage dumped, causing it to swell at a rate of one square meter every 24 hours. 
This newly formed land was eventually leased to entrepreneurs who used the island for various industrial purposes, somewhat adding to the problem. Not only was the island infested with flies, literally everything surrounding it was polluted. The water was especially hazardous as indiscriminate dumpings left things like broken oil drums, asbestos, lead, and other noxious metals. Luckily, in 2011, the government outlawed garbage dumping on the island after several freighters, impatient with the dumping process, simply dropped their loads directly into the sea. Now, garbage boats are reportedly advised to take their cargo and other trash to India. On an island located in the beautiful canals of Xochimilco near Mexico City is an island that looks as if it came straight from the mind of Stephen King. Its Spanish name is La Isla de las Munecas, or Island of the Dolls. Anyone who catches sight of the island will see the creepiest, most disturbing dolls covering everything from trees to structures. The history of this island may be just as disturbing. Many years ago, the body of a small girl was found on the shores of the island by its caretaker, Don Julian Santana Barrera. Nothing is known about the girl. Her identity was a mystery, as no one had reported their child missing. The only thing known was that the cause of death was drowning. Shortly after finding her, Barrera saw a floating doll near the canals. Most likely, the doll belonged to the girl. So, he picked it out of the water and hung it to a tree as a way to show respect to the spirit of the girl. Over the years, Julian was apparently haunted by the spirit of the girl. So, he started hanging more and more dolls in an attempt to please her. However, he soon realized that the dolls themselves were possessed by the spirits of other dead girls. His attempts to continue the collection only brought more and more spirits onto the island. After 50 years of collecting dolls and hanging them on the island, Julian was found dead, drowned in the same spot where the girl died. Today, it has become a tourist attraction where visitors bring more dolls to hang. The city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates has always been known as catering to the most wealthy people in the world. In doing this, it has spared no expense in building some of the most amazing structures, from the world's tallest building to man-made islands. That's right, they make their own islands. Many of these islands are shaped to look like something totally unique. One group of these islands is known as The World. Working with a company called Nahil, Dubai has been working on a project to construct 300 private islands which, when viewed from above, look like a map of the world with continents and land masses clearly defined. These various islands will offer the ultimate in privacy and exclusivity for the most wealthy people. The project is still under construction, but once it is finished, each island will range from 250,000 to 900,000 square feet in size, with between 164 and 328 feet of water between each island. Also, the entire chain of islands together will cover a total area of 5.4 miles in length and 3.6 miles in width, surrounded by an oval-shaped breakwater. The only mode of transportation between the islands will be by marine or air transport. Construction has seen some setbacks, though, as a few of the islands have not settled as predicted and continue to wash away. Today, only two or three islands are completed. It isn't known when or even if the rest of the islands will be completed. However, whenever they are, they're sure to be one of the most spectacular engineering feats ever conceived. Whether creepy, disgusting, or awe-inspiring, we have assisted in making some of the most amazing islands in the world. While visiting these islands may not be like traveling to Bermuda or Hawaii, they are still worthy of our attention and admiration. While we can't say what will happen to some of these locations in the future, it will definitely be interesting to see what sort of new islands will be created. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to click the link on screen now to see another. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to never miss an upload. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.